Hello friends, my name is James. And this is my 1965 Alberg 30 Sloop SV Tritea. I have been slowly sailing solo around the world since leaving Los Angeles in 2021. This is Rhonda, a Kiwi sailor who moved aboard full time once I reached Sydney. Join us as we explore the east coast of Australia and see as many wild places and wild animals as possible. Just down in here. as we make our way up to Southeast Asia. Okay, the time has come for us to leave Lake Macquarie. Um, we spent the last two days driving around the lake just to give the engine a test in protected waters. And now we have high tide, so we head out, get through the drawbridge, and make passage to Newcastle. It's a 20 nautical mile passage today from this very spot to Newcastle. So we have like kind of, I don't know, 12 knots of wind or something. So favorable wind though, so that'll help us along. And then if there's any engine problems, we'll have wind to sail, which is good. So we're just luck. Got to get out of this lake. All right, here we go. Goodbye, Lake Man. Draw bridges are stressful. We're about four minutes away from um, nine o'clock. The bridge is supposed to open at nine. We're doing two knots at like 2700 RPM. <laughs> it's because there's a the flood current coming out and wind on the nose. Oh, that, how are you feeling? Very stressed. James is quite stressed. I feel okay. But yeah, once we get to the other side. Ready to get out of the lake. So the bridge is opening now. We're approaching the bridge now and I just want to make sure they saw us. And James is just on the radio to the bridge just to make sure that they don't close it on us because... I do not, but it's on the hour. Um, okay, so we didn't make that bridge opening. It appears that we have to have a booking for it. So I am making some tea and James, how are you feeling? Not amused. Ready to get out of the lake and the lake's tractor beam is holding us firmly. <laughs> um, we're not behind schedule because originally we were going to go out on the 10 o'clock bridge opening anyway. But I'm glad we showed up early because then we found out that we had to have an appointment. So yeah, I'm just ready to get out of this lake. Ready. So ready. Anyway, I had to call them up and book a 10 o'clock so we've got about maybe 25 minutes or something to kill. Yeah. Um, so yeah, time for some tea and some banana bread and then hopefully we'll be on our way. Well, the announcement just came over. So hopefully, as soon as the gate's going down on the bridge zone to stop the cars, and then it'll open for us. Freedom ticket.
so this is like right around the zone where the engine blew up last time highly stressful <laughs> sort of like superstition happening in my head uh, we just got to get past these couple of marks and uh, then I'll be able to kind of sigh a sigh of relief then we get out past the bar and it's a home run oh my gosh there's like a whole bunch of pelicans just roosting over on the rocks I can see 15. That's like the most we've seen ever anywhere on the lake. So cool. That's so, so rad. Wow. Feels pretty good to be heading to the ocean. Hey James. Yeah, we yeah we made it past our doom spot. <laughs> now we're creeping up on the bar. We still have a bit of an outgoing current, so we're going pretty slow. But we just got to get out past the bar. It's looking pretty good though. It's pretty chill. There's lots of boats and stuff fishing in here. It just looks gnarly because there's like a little island and then real low rocks and so there's heaps of waves crashing and stuff, which makes it look quite dramatic. Yeah. But, <laughs> but it's um. It's oh. definitely like that's not the way we're going. It's just where the Let's hope so. Where the waves are crashing. There's a little boat going through there. He's all good. We'll be fine. And the sun's coming out for us. and now I feel like we're officially free of Lake Macquarie. Yoo! How does it feel? It feels great. <laughs> I'm grateful that it gave us a safe harbor, but I'm also very grateful to be moving on. Oh my gosh. All we can see is like a horizon right That's now right. in front of us, which is just... And big oh. smoke. <laughs> now we push to Newcastle. Yay! Pretty big gnarly seas right now. The biggest ones are over two meters and pretty powerful bordering seas. So they're steering us off in hand steering the whole time, pretty much since we left the bridge. Um, really powerful seas. And the wind's directly behind us, so we can't use it too much to our advantage, but we're just trying to get around this headland um, and keep pushing. Honestly, this does not give these waves justice. <laughs> it sucks that you can't see how big these are. It's always the case. The camera makes it look like a beautiful day sailing. It's like super gnarly sea conditions. But any sailors, anyone that's done any ocean sailing or even coastal 
they know that the camera doesn't show how brutal it is. This has got to be by far the biggest seas I've been in. And uh, after being on the casual lake and then stepping <laughs> straight out the gate to this, I'm like, holy shit. Okay, it's just getting real. Already been on the helm as well in it. That's another whole game. Crass jive. We are tied up safe and sound at Newcastle Marina. Had a hell of a time getting into the slip. Wind on the nose, blowing Trotea around. Had to take three passes at it. Uh, guy on the dock, Scott, helped us. Appreciate that, Scott. And uh, we got all tied up. Now it's time to relax. After successfully escaping Lake Mac and our shakedown motor cell to Newcastle, we spent a few days exploring the city before pushing on to Nelson Bay trying to regain our confidence in our newly rebuilt engine. Hello friends. Welcome. Hello from Nel- <laughs> Fuck off. Hello from Nelson Bay, New South Wales. Uh, we made passage up yesterday from Newcastle, 30 miles, and um, we're gonna get in the water and see what it's all about. It's supposed to be good snorkeling up here, and um, we haven't <clears throat> been swimming much for a while because of the shark risks. I went for my first swim this morning though after a walk and it was so nice. Good temperature. So nice. The temperature is amazing. The water clarity is incredible. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, and then we just went for to get coffee and breakfast and the water's crazy clear. So we're going to go in. There's a little like aquatic reserve area around the corner here. Let's go get in the water and see what it's all about. Oh my gosh we were told that nelson bay was like fantastic snorkeling lots of fish 
and there's even got sea turtles here and i think we were not steered wrong we saw so many fish yes so many fish it was awesome yeah. it was so good fantastic fantastic oh. snorkeling really clear water pretty cold for me Rhonda didn't even have a suit on she wasn't as cold as me but i just had a rash a rash yeah. shirt on but i got cold we were in for a while i suppose eh? yeah yeah really really cool i guess the neatest thing we saw was that weird dwarf ornament goggle wog or something <laughs> goggle wog. we'll put the name on the screen well the name will be on the video as well he was cool really neat and oh, then a cool so fish with like a weird horn that kept coming up kept, kept popping up yeah yeah we need to look up we yeah and then fish were. all the sergeant majors a lot of sergeant majors in the water here haven't seen those since french polynesia or i guess fiji so yeah it's fun we're getting back up we're getting oh into the zone where gosh. there's like lots of cool stuff to see snorkeling yeah so really really we, fun we've definitely been needing this in our yeah. life this is just like oh yeah we've, yeah we've, fantastic and <laughs> uh just right there nice nice little park and all the fish are so chill because it's like a little protected zone they're so chill mm. like they'll swim right up on you oh they're just all around you yeah, it's insane everywhere. it's so good and really. so clear the water oh yeah. man fantastic so we're stoked so good our first first really fun snorkel together mm. and uh, many more to come definitely if you enjoy the content on this channel and would like to contribute you can consider joining the Patreon crew. Thanks for watching. Fair winds until next time.